When you think about fraud, you probably think about bank fraud, internet fraud, and credit card fraud. But a more common swindle is food fraud. We're talking $50 billion a year. So we're exposing the biggest offenders and how to avoid fraudulent foods at the top of the list. When you read a label at a grocery store or order something off a menu, you might be getting duped. Larry Olmsted, author of Real Food, Fake Food, is exposing three common food fakes and what we can do about them. First up, is your olive oil spoiled? It is a prized food. It's very easy to dilute or substitute something else for it. But there are some clues on the bottles that can help you. Larry says to avoid labels with bottled on. Instead, they should say pressed on or harvested on. Typically, only higher quality oils have that and you want it to be like I said, no more than a year old. And most of the world uses the standard set by the International Olive Oil Commission. California, however, has actually created its own standard that's somewhat higher, so I do recommend buying California olive oils. Next up, what's the beef? But somewhere in excess of 98, 99% of the time, if you see Kobe beef on a menu, it's not Kobe beef. Kobe beef is beef that comes from Kobe, Japan. I call it the Rolls Royce of beef. And right now, there are only about 15 restaurants in the U.S. that are serving the real thing. There's no legal protection for it, uh, so restaurants can call anything they want Kobe beef, and they do. And the real thing costs more than 20 bucks an ounce. So if you order a true Kobe burger, you'd be paying about 100 twenty dollars and finally is your fish a fraud even if you're a very experienced fishmonger or chef once you skin and clean up and fillet most white fish you cannot tell them apart they look basically identical the most commonly duped fish red snapper because it's the most expensive in excess of 90 percent of the time it is not red snapper and that's at retail at restaurants so his recommendation is to buy your fish whole because then you can't be fooled but be careful when dining out one of the things restaurants do is tend to serve this white filet then under a mound of sauce and vegetables and further disguise it. So best practice might be to avoid it and pick a seafood like lobster that's served in a shell so you know it's real. Food fraud is on the top of the list.